What's up, YouTube? I'm Zero Zeus, and I'd like to welcome everybody to something new. So today, this is sort of a reaction, kind of discussion type of thing, more of a discussion because one thing I, that's been burning me, and you know, I'm a Dragon Ball Super fan, so I've been waiting to just jump into this conversation for a long time, so I had to make me a video about it. But basically, the title of this video is Jiren the Impossible, and I named it that for a reason, but basically... This video, I'll be talking about, you know, Jiren versus Goku, other, other candidates, you know, who probably, you know, if certain theories work out a certain way, probably I have to go up against them. Just a whole lot of outcomes. I'm just going to cover that in this video and, you know, just give my overall thoughts and things like that. So to start off, <clears throat> Jiren the Grey is the next big milestone for Goku. But the question is, is he too much? Is he too strong? Like, he's been so hyped up. And, you know, like, the emphasis is real, dude. Like, <laughs> all the hype behind the character is already overwhelming. And from recent spoilers, even more emphasis is placed on the character, right? Like, the thing is, <clears throat> I don't want to seem like I'm giving him too much credit. But they act like the way that they put him, the way, the way that they act, they going about him is like, he's as strong as a god of destruction. Like... Like, he's way out of the reach of everybody, and I don't want to talk too much about it now because I need to get further into this video because I'm going to cover this topic, but basically the transformation, I feel like that's the, a, a big waste, right? Like, if it just gets whore by him straight out the blue, but <clears throat> anyway, so we know Goku will be using the 20 times KO Ken, Super Saiyan Blue, Spirit Bomb, which you know, that's big as shit itself, like... Super Saiyan Blue, first of all, we never seen him use a Super Saiyan Blue spirit bomb. And it's KO Ken times 20 stacked on top of it. And we already know that it doesn't work. <clears throat> from, like I said, the spoilers that had already came from before. So, <clears throat> and yeah, but if you all don't mind, I'm just going to have this plan in the background probably. I probably have a little Xenoverse plan in the background too, just, you know, just to have something to look at because... You know, just a blank ass screen that say Dragon Ball Super. But anyway, we already know that the spirit bomb doesn't work. So that just sets the bar for Jiren, right? Like how crazy this dude power is. And just, you know, like how this nigga tanked a spirit bomb is basically the way that everybody is acting about it. We haven't seen it yet, but that's the way that it seems. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I hate to say that it's going to downplay. <clears throat> It's going to downplay the transformation is basically all I'm trying to get into. But we can get more into that later. So you got to take a second and think. This isn't the regular old spirit bomb, right? This is a divine version, basically. That's a nice old little shot of it right there while I'm talking about it anyway. This is a divine version. This is Super Saiyan Blue. Not just regular. And then the energy that he would have to get being that I feel like he's trapped in the void, it would probably be divine energy being that it's other gods. Don't get me wrong, it's other, you know, mortals in the area too, but it's a whole group of gods. And it's like, if what happens if they give them energy or if like that one theory of Zeno gives up his energy or something like that, you know, that would be crazy. And like, like just reiterating again, like, just including all of the divine beings in the void, and Jiren still takes it, not to mention Super Saiyan Blue, 20 times KO Ken, and he tanks that shit. Now tell me, does it not seem like this man is just a little bit too much overpowered? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not supposed to be easy, but I don't know. But anyway... The biggest theory I've been hearing everywhere is Jiren will be even too much for the new transformation. And I, I, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's not supposed to be easy. But at the same time, you don't want to make your transformation look like it's worthless is my thing. And they, Super Saiyan Blue isn't worthless. But the way that they went about showing it kind of made it seem, you know, like it was. I hope that, like I said before, that they don't trump the new transformation like they did blue. And like I said, make it look pointless. Like that, that takes away all the oomph behind the transformation, I feel like. And I feel blue was showed up 
even though this is way off topic, I feel like Blue was showed up as soon as it was introduced by Frieza. Frieza downplayed the form, and it would have been perceived different if they would have presented it different. I just feel like they might make the same mistake they made with Blue with the new form, and I, I, I would hate to see that happen. Moving on. And then, like, just reiterating again, that just begs the question, like, what is the purpose of the transformation, right? If he's just going to get beat senseless, right? And then that's just going to be the end of it, right? But now, not saying Goku should get the form and just stomp Jiren out, but it should at least level the playing field in some type of way. Even if he's not going to be stronger than Jiren, I feel like, it shouldn't be so much of a landslide. Like, he should be able to fuck with him just a little bit. I hope they don't eliminate Goku just off the fact that I think that... You, you see how in Master Roshi, he had so many chances to be eliminated or to die or be killed. And they just kept stringing him on along. And like I feel like if they could do that for him, then they can do that for Goku. I'm pretty sure. I hope. I pray that they just don't knock him out. But that seems to be part of... Like, that's another big theory, basically, and I, I just wanted to address that. And if Goku is eliminated immediately in his new transformation, there is no chance for Universe 7 besides Vegeta and Frieza. And I'm going to get all into why I'm saying that, because I'm not just trying to, like, downplay people like Gohan and stuff, because he has potential and stuff, too. But, like I said, I'm going to get into that. But So either Vegeta better transform like two he better transform get a new transformation or something have some type of weird ass mutated power up or something because what like who else can combat you know and then it's like freezer right freezer pretty strong it's just like he i don't feel like he would be on the level of jiren or goku in his new transformation like maybe maybe he would blue because, you know, they, has, they have had some time apart and I guess Frieza's been doing mental training and all this other crazy stuff. But it's like, I really feel like it should still be a gap, even though, because don't get me wrong, I'm not biased. I like both of these characters just as much as I like Goku, even though he's my favorite. But I'm trying to keep this fair. It's just like, I just don't see. But to be honest, Vegeta is the homie, but he can't do K.O. Ken. So unless he can somehow match times 20 ko can blue it still isn't enough because goku reaches a new transformation apparently and it's for no reason and going back to frieza frieza is power a powerful force to be reckoned with even though he hasn't really gone all out yet from what i can see i doubt that he can you know like take on jiren or goku's new form but you never know you never know anything could happen now, i keep forgetting to let the video play in the background Okay, this next one, Gohan. Okay, Mystic Gohan could be a factor, but I feel like maybe it's not likely because Gohan's potential has already been totally unlocked by the Elder Kai, right? I don't see how he regaining his powers again after not being able to transform Mystic, even though I know that's not the official name, you know, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Like him regaining the power to go mystic again i don't feel like that should you know reset his potential or you know like how does that change anything in any type of way so it's like don't get me wrong they could pull some shit like um super saiyan rage for gohan and he gets his own you know variation his own very special variation of um super saiyan you know you know it, it could happen basically is what i'm trying to say but this is how I weigh in on these characters. And while I know the tournament of power isn't about power, but how could everyone besides, how could anybody besides Goku stand a chance no matter what they pull without a miracle power boost or just something, right? Like it wouldn't make any type of sense. It comes to a point where even brains and elaborate planning is defeated, defeated by power. Eventually, somewhere down the line, it is possible brain does not always succeed over brawn so it's like not all the time you know and there's one last thing to take into consideration too goku is goofy he has his little ways and stuff and you know he's like a crackhead for fighting but it's like at the same time he's a genius at fighting 
you know? And I'm pretty sure he's analyzed the situation the way Goku does, and he probably, it probably doesn't matter whether they work as a team or not, because that's another thing people I've been hearing is like, oh, well, he gonna jump silly because he's Goku and he's stupid, and then, you know, like, he probably get fucked up because he didn't listen to Gohan, and it's like, the thing is, Goku has way more battle experience than Gohan, and like, don't get me wrong, Gohan probably, let's say as far as school, he's probably smarter than Goku, but I wouldn't say fighting. You can't really say that, but, you know, that's just the way I look at it. But anyway, one last thing I wanted to put in there, too, is that, okay, not comparing Jiren, Jiren to Beerus, but it's like, look at it like this. That's like saying that if they, if all the Z fighters were to team up and fight Beerus, that they would eventually find some way to win, where it's been proven that they cannot period so it's like that's one last thing i wanted to say not bashing anybody's opinion or theory or anything but this is what i think so i'm gonna keep it you know i'm gonna keep it real i'm say what i feel but anyway this has been my discussion of jiren dragon ball super and like i said in previous videos you can catch more of this i know um i was supposed to cut in like some Xenoverse too, but it's just like, I got so wrapped up in the conversation. I, I was just like, cause I love this shit so much. So, you know, I'm gonna make more of these videos. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I really, really need that support so I can keep bringing you these videos. I love doing this and you know, I just love the feedback. So please comment, you know, I, I would love to have a conversation with somebody who watches me, you know, just just little stuff like that. But anyway, this has been my Jiren the Impossible, my Dragon Ball Super discussion. I've been Zero Zeus. I will see you all next video.